And that breaking news, the passing of a Pacers legend. Former center Mel Daniels died today at age 71. He received a push alert just about two hours ago. Daniels was a longtime and much-loved member of the Pacers, three-time American Basketball Association championship teams, and a member of the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. Now Michael Grady is here now with some perspective on Daniels and his contribution to the Pacers game of, and the game of basketball itself, and we know the impact was great. It was. What I love to see is a guy who last played for the Pacers in 1974 and loved this community so much that he stayed around. Mm -hmm. You would still see him at Pacer basketball games, worked with the team for a long time, had in the last few years, but despite that, still very involved with this franchise. Matter of fact, I saw him in the media newsroom last night after the game and uh, still shaking people's hands. That's one of the funny things about Mel. Anybody that knows Mel, anybody that's ever met Mel, anybody that tells someone who's met Mel before that they're getting ready to meet him, the one thing that they tell you is don't shake the man's hand. He had a <laughs> firm grip, firm handshake that would break about every bone in your hand. Um, but he was a gentleman. Um, I think that's the interesting thing about him. He was a ferocious player on the basketball court. Obviously helped the Pacers win three uh, ABA championships, two-time ABA MVP himself, and was just a menace on the floor, ferocious rebounder, played well inside. But when you met him off the basketball court, you wouldn't know it. Uh, as gentle a man as there was, and it's a very, very sad day. We know uh, reaction has been pouring in through social media. He had a lot of friends. He did, uh, a lot of loved ones. And again, that just speaks to the fact that he wanted to stay in this community. Uh, for young people watching, Try to imagine watching a Pacers game like the one last night and then going to a local restaurant and seeing Paul George there mingling with people and hanging out. Right. Yeah. Now there's a divide between the fans and the players somewhat. They try to close that gap a little bit. Mm -hmm. But back in those days, in the ABA days, it was very common for you to walk down the street and bump into Mel and shake his hand mm -hmm. or net a lick here or slick. So um, it, it was a special era. I know there is a lot of folks who remember going over to the fairgrounds and watching them play who are very torn up today. It is mm -hmm. a very sad day in the basketball world, not just with the Pacers community, but in the NBA. He right. will be in a Hall of Famer himself. Yeah, he'll be missed. Thank he you will. so much, Michael. Michael, thank you. Speaking of reaction, uh, this just in from fellow Pacers great Reggie Miller saying words cannot express the depth of my sadness today. Mel Daniels was a father figure, brother, and most of all, my Uncle Mel. He helped raise me into the man I am. I hope I made him proud in everything I tried to do, but more importantly, on, on, but more importantly, off the basketball court. My heart goes out to CC and the Daniels family. More reaction coming in from the Pacers. This on Twitter from rookie center Miles Turner. RIP to a Pacers legend, Mel Daniels, saddened for my Pacer family and organization for this loss.